you can go out there and think what you want to think, but all in all, you're going to have to let the fish do the talking and let them tell me what they want and what they're biting that day. And that's why you just, the conditions, it's overcast, it's foggy, the wind just picked up, it's, it's spinnerbait time. Might be a stripe. Might be all big. Let's see if we can get this baby unhooked. She had that thing choked, didn't she? Oh, Zorro Bengo Blade with the Storm GT Largo Shad. Beautiful old Santee Cooper bass right there. So you get the morning started. Took a little while, didn't it? Always after you catch a fish, see I'm using the Zorro Bango blade here and it's an extra thin light wire and that gives it more vibration. But when you catch a good fish, sometimes you always tune it back in so it's tuned and straight because if the bait's not tuned right at high speeds, the blade will turn sideways and you'll get hung up more and just more than likely you're just not going to get bit. So always make sure your bait's in tune and you go from there. I just wanted to go a little more in depth with you guys on spinnerbait fishing. If you can think back, everybody probably remembers when they were young throwing the spinnerbait from starting out fishing. It's just, it's such a fish catching bait. And what I do is I carry two sizes across the country. I carry a 5 8 and a 3 8 ounce, which the 5 8 is basically a half ounce. But majority of the time, year round, anywhere in the country, you can get away with these two sizes. Occasionally what I'll do is I'll throw a 3 quarter or a 1 ounce depending on depth. But a lot of times you can get away with, say, throwing the 5 8 out and just changing the blade combination. For right here I have two, two smaller willows. And see, these smaller willow blades won't rise as much. And that's what I'll throw in deeper water. And then you can burn it in a shallower cover. Or you can change the blade combinations. You can throw like a little Indiana blade and a little willow and just something different. And that's why I carry these two sizes where any blade combination I can have, I can change it to what I think the fish are biting, where I can match the hatch or the depth of water I'm fishing or the clarity, whether I'm throwing gold gold, or I'm throwing nickel, I'm throwing silver, and what blade combination it is. And you don't have to go run out. It's not an expensive thing. You don't have to go run out and buy 150 spinner baits and 35 different blade combinations. You know, the main thing you need to have is I'd have some willow blades, willow blades right here and some Colorados. Those two are the most popular blade sizes and they make a bunch of different shapes like the Indiana and stuff like that. But these two blades and just get them in some different sizes. Say get some Colorados in three to four sometimes. Like in dirty water sometimes you can throw a six. But the Willows are my favorite blades in general. Whether I'm throwing a five and actually I have a seven sometimes if I believe the fish are eating gizzard chat. It's just different blades for different combinations. And that's the main thing where you can get out there and you can just play with it and you can kind of match the hatch to what you're thinking. It's, it, it's simple sometimes. It's just getting out there and it's the good old days. It's, it's fast fishing. It's, it truly is hard to beat the old school spinnerbait. And sometimes just putting it in your hand and locking it in there for a day, it'll get bit. Another important thing in too in, in bass fishing with spinnerbaits, which a lot of people, some people look at, a lot of people kind of overlook sometimes, it's actually the gauge wire here. You can tell this is the Zorro aggravator blade and this is the Bengo blade. You can tell the lighter thickness and wire in this one, which there's pros and cons to both of them. Where say sometimes if you're going to throw a bigger blade, you want to have a thicker wire, especially when you're throwing further distances. That way it's not as flimsy as this one is you'll get a better hook set with a thicker wire, but sometimes with a thinner wire, you're able to get more vibration out of it, sometimes more bites, it's good for shallow water. And actually for deep water fishing, it, it'll get that bait a little bit down there deeper. And the good thing about this spinnerbait is right here, how we have the collar, of course, for the skirt, but the keel of this spinnerbait, which helps droop it down a little bit, where it actually, it'll more of a vertical fall, instead of it falling nose down, it kind of keels that weight backwards on the spinnerbait. That way you can drop that weight back some. That way, all, not all the weight is, slam in the front of this bait where it doesn't too much of a vertical fall helps just a little bit when you're fishing around shallow cover especially around trees and when you pause it it'll kind of want to fall like this and not just nose down too much and a bait i love to throw as a spinnerbait trailer is actually it's the storm gt largo shed because it's it's a stiffer plastic it's it's a lot more durable and it's a perfect size it comes in the three inch and four inch it's actually a saltwater swim bait and there's this little tab here as well you can just pinch off to get a little more action out of it. But for it being more durable, it's just when you're catching multiple fish through a day, you don't want to be sitting there and 
changing your trailer out so many times, but you want something that still has plenty of action. You know, you don't want it just because it's more durable, it just to be stiff, but something you can just easily thread on there. And then it's the perfect little body shape. I'm using the Daiwa 7 foot 4 Randy Howell Big Top Water Spinnerbait Rod. That's the Tattoo Little Elite 7 foot 4. And I'm throwing the Zorro Bengo Blade 5 8 ounce with uh, two Willow Leafs. And I'm throwing it on the Daiwa Tattoo SVTW on 8 to 1 gear ratio. And I'm actually throwing it on 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I like a bigger line. If, um, if I was to be on a hardcore spinnerbait bite day, I would have probably one with 14 and then one with 20 for up shallow. I don't know, I, I like big line. Big fish, big line, right?